Am I back on cryptocurrency theory? Are you back on cryptocurrency theory? And let's talk about this, guys, as I don't break my feet walking here on this uneven sidewalk. So I want to talk about why I keep becoming more bullish on altcoins. Have you guys not noticed that I just can't stop talking about the idea of price doubling? And guys, that's because I actually think that's what's going to happen. And, and the reason I think this, guys, if because BTC, because Ethereum, and because the altcoins are all staying up. Now, this altcoin season, guys, might not be a season. It might be an actual season that lasts an entire year. Uh, you know, when we look at when we look at stuff that's already happened in crypto, um, that's the reason. You know, that's the main reason is because we look at the past of how cryptocurrency has moved. And um, if we go back to 2016 and 2017, you know, that was a full year of altcoins pumping against BTC. So if you think about it, that could happen again. You know, altcoins could be that undervalued and we might see a major rise on altcoins against BTC. And then we see the entire crypto market swell which would be an additional rise on those same altcoins. Or they might run sideways, or they might run down. There's no way to guarantee altcoin gains, I feel like, guys, at this point. And I feel like people that try to, uh, most people that gain on them, just, they get lucky. You know, most people are just getting lucky. But there are some altcoins out there that are now taking fundamentals, you know, to that next level. And a lot of these coins, guys, we're, we're talking about on the channel, you know, Bitcoin Cash, some of them are already up. But there's people that are taking interest in some of these positions more or less from a, like, I need to own some of this coin. You know, they're almost taking a position that was different from, uh, kind of different from the, you know, the, the reasons other people got in them. So all I'm saying is, is not, this isn't bad. This is not a, like a bad thing. This is good for anybody holding these altcoins i'm just saying that like the people that are coming into bitcoin cash specifically the com people that are coming into you know bitcoin sv any of these coins we're talking about on the channel specifically um they're doing it i feel like more for a hold they're not doing it necessarily for a you know like a meme coin trade right so this is something i've kind of observed in the last uh you know just few weeks really you know, since we started seeing stuff kind of, pr you know, price up, right? And uh, I think this is going to happen, guys. I think that we're going to be looking at a a potentially, like, a long time for this to do its thing. And, uh, you know, that might not be, you know, everybody always wants to hear, like, how can I get into something that's going to go up the same amount and then get out? But what I'm trying to tell you guys, I don't think these people are trying to get out. I think some people are coming in now, especially on some of these coins like Bitcoin Cash, from an institutional perspective. Like they're not coming out. Like they want to they want to hold these coins long term now. And if these same coins start going up long term now, then what the fuck are we gonna do? We're not gonna be able to get any more because the price is gonna go up. And I did a whole video on this of the sense of urgency of like. I might be priced out of Bitcoin Cash here, like now, because I don't see myself making this tremendous amount of uh, money. You know, I'm not, I'm not being pessimistic. I'm just saying, if the prices keep rising, how am I going to get more? How am I going to get more? And I'm not. And I'm saying, I'm, I'll still buy it, but I'm going to be getting a whole lot less. And that's kind of what we. We're kind of betting on on this channel that if we have this long drawn out alt season that lasts a year or maybe more than a year what happens then how are people going to be able to rationalize that how are people that are going to sell rationalize that they're not going to they're gonna they're gonna be pissed you know and it's kind of stupid to say i'd be pissed if bitcoin went to, bitcoin cash went to twenty thousand. But I kind of would be. The reason I'd be pissed is because I wouldn't be able to get as many coins, right? And then you look back and you're like, fuck, man. Well, I could have bought in so many coins at 100. You know, I could have done more. I could have done more of this than that. But the thing, guys, is I couldn't have done more. So I don't feel bad about it. That's what I'm saying. Like, 
I know that I could have, I did as, I did as much, you know, you can always do a little bit more, right? You can always look back and find little areas that you could have done a little bit better, a little bit more, but for the most part, I tried my best in getting as much coin and ongoingly get as much coins as I can. So I don't really necessarily feel bad watching this play out, but I do think it's going to fuck with people's heads. Um, you know, uh, I have this, this issue with Dogecoin and, um, you know, I don't want to re I don't want to relive that, that mistake guys. I don't want to be, you know, one of these people that, you know, comes up in crypto and has a really good crypto run. And then I'm like out of crypto. That's not what I want to do. I actually want to be crypto rich. And, uh, I think that's a whole lot better than being regular rich, you know, with dollars, in my opinion, like if you're crypto rich, that just seems like a way, you know, more badass thing uh, to talk about than just, you know, the good old greenback, right? The good old greenback redneck with some dollars that knows how to spend them, right? In an inflation ridden world. So that's kind of my thing, guys. We might see a long drawn out altcoin season that just mind fucks everybody. And unless we're still buying altcoins into that altcoin season, uh, it might uh, turn into a storm and uh, people might get washed out. So it's just a sad reality of it. But, you know, I'm hoping the least people that watch this channel at least hold through that, uh, you know, and not dump their entire bag. You know, that's why I say, guys, if you're if you're like, oh, fuck, I want to sell now. I think it's the best time. Like, you know, if you guys want to go back to dollars, you can. I'm not telling you you can't. There's plenty of exchanges that'll make the exchange for you. You can even go into a stable coin. You know, if you don't want to exit crypto, you just want to have a more stable, uh, you know, in terms of dollar stable. I wouldn't say that. You know, the dollar could be unstable too at some point. You know, it already has been a little bit more, but not really enough to, to really throw anybody into panic mode, at least for the majority of people, I feel like. So we'll just see how it goes, guys. I mean, hopefully we, you know, it happens just overnight in one giant candlestick and the prices just keep doubling. But, you know, it could be like a 10, 20X in a lot of coins and that happened over the course of a year, you know? And then, you know, what then? A lot of people have already sold. And if BTC keeps going higher and the altcoins follow, you know, it could really mind fuck a lot of people. So, yeah, I'm holding. I guess that's the summary of the video. I'm holding and uh, we'll just see kind of what happens with these altcoins. See if we're in an altcoin season or maybe an altcoin year or 24 hour or uh, an altcoin 12 month period or eight month period. We don't know how long the seasons last sometimes in crypto. So uh, that much we'll play by ear. We'll follow these prices. Catch you in the next video.